Hickok 45 here. I got the flu and I'm feeling kind of puny. I need a firearm that's easy to work, like this one. Hey, nice. Huh, that was fairly easy. Uh, that wasn't. <laughs> And I'm out of ammo. Okay. That was easy too, running out of ammo, right? For me, that's something I've never had trouble with. Shooting a firearm dry. Oh yeah. No, I'm not puny. I don't have the flu. That was a joke. Because I'm just hilarious, aren't I? Yeah, you know what we got. You can read most of you. It's uh the MP9 Shield EZ. And uh we've had requests to take a look at it. And uh so that's what we're doing. It lets you know what we think. How's that? How easy it might be. Yeah, you know, the easy, you saw the 380 version of it, the uh, M&P uh, 380 easy. Uh, smart move on Smith & Wesson's part uh, because a lot of people have a difficulty you know, manipulating the slide on a semi-automatic pistol. It's just that simple. Uh, a lot of people uh, are weak, like me. They're just weaker or maybe they're old, like me, arthritic, like me. No, I'm not arthritic and I'm not old. I'm only 39. But, but really, people get to a point where the, they're just weaker or maybe they're just starting out and they're weaker. So anybody, for any reason, maybe an injury, you just don't have quite the hand strength. And, uh, and some of it, uh, you know, anyway, that, that's the target audience for these. And it's a niche that um, I guess needs to be filled. Really, I'm glad they're doing it. We want everybody to be able to enjoy fine firearms. Uh, forgot what I was going to say about that, uh, so it must not have been important. I had another important point to make about it, but for whatever reason that you might, oh, I know what I was going to say. Uh, some of it is just technique, uh, and if you have a, one of these firearms, and uh, of course this one's pretty easy <laughs> to manipulate, but a lot of it is if you grab it and push your hand forward, your right hand or your strong hand, the, the grip hand, uh, and just kind of hold the slide, it, you'll, you'll find that you can you can manipulate it easier on any uh, semi-automatic pistol, okay? Kind of, I think some people teach, get it down here against your side and just push forward like that if there's one you're having difficulty with. But this one is easier. It's easier to load the magazines. You know, they start out with a, a different magazine. I've got the regular shield out here and it takes a different magazine, okay? That's good news and bad news, right? And so the magazine's easier to load. And then once you get the firearm loaded, uh, it's easier to rack the slide, okay? And then maybe it's even easier to shoot well, all right? So it's uh, designed to be easier to operate. And I'll talk about some of those things. So this is the regular shield. And I'll put this mag in just so you get an idea of the size comparison. It's a little bit longer in the grip, notice? Uh, and it's longer in the slide, if you can see that. Uh, so it's a bigger gun than the regular shield. So know that if you have a shield and you love it for all the reasons that you would love it, the size of it and the weight and everything, you might want to take a, a, a look at one of these before you buy it because they're heavier and they're bigger. Okay. Not a lot, but they they weigh, uh, see it's 23 ounces is what the EZ weighs versus 20 and a half by my scales on the regular shield so it's heavier two and a half ounces i think my kentucky math tells me all right so also the slides are a little thicker okay i put the, i'll put the calipers on but it's thicker this is really more like a standard uh i guess m p she or m p 2.0 in in the thickness i think i don't have it out here it's close to the thickness of a uh like a glock 19. i've got that out here so it's bigger it's heavier let me put the calipers on. Well, I'll put them on the Glock 19 first. I think the Glock 19 is still a little thicker. Okay, on the slide. Yeah, yeah. But there's not a lot of difference. It's, and it's, let's see, I think it's thicker than the Glock uh, 48. I've got the 48 out here. I brought it out for a reason, too. Yeah, the 48 is thinner. Thinner than, a good bit thinner than the M&P Shield uh, EZ. <laughs> so, so you got that. And it's thicker, again, than the regular you know, shield, all right? There's a shield. See, it won't fit. So it's thicker and heavier, all right? Just want to make sure you knew that. 
And before I shoot it again, I want to again thank Atmex.com. You see that cool stuff on the table, that, that silver, uh, you know, American Precious Metals Exchange. They're a great help to us. Check the uh, link in the, the description. There's a Hickok 45's favorites. And uh, they have all kinds of cool coins, but gold, silver, bullion, numismatic, collectible coins, whatever. You know, most of us that like that kind of precious metal like this kind of precious, this kind of precious metal, right? There's some more precious metal. <laughs> uh, as I've said before, the people who are into firearms and things tend to have at least some uh, attraction to that sort of thing. So we appreciate them and their support. Uh, yeah, so it's a bigger gun. But now it's it again it fills a niche, and and it's maybe exactly what you need and what you want. I think I said that in the 380 version. I don't have the 380. I didn't buy it. I sent it back to Buzz. I, I don't really have a need for it, so I don't don't have one. Uh, I have no big problem with 380. It's just that there's no real problem with the nine millimeter. So for for me, I, I'd rather compare it with the uh, the nine millimeter shield. You know, uh, it's kind of I think what most people would be kind of interested in. Uh, I could be wrong, but the the 380 uh, EZ is lighter and smaller, and it's even easier to manipulate. Okay, but but I think most people are not necessarily looking for a, a 380. Most people I think would like to have a nine millimeter. Uh, that you know a real you know a service a NATO cartridge that they can manipulate and handle okay so let me shoot the thing let me load while I'm yakking uh, okay there's a good shot of them uh, the shield is smaller like I say the mags are easier to load you got these little tabs on the side like a lot of 22 mags so that makes them a little bit easier to to load they're more of a straight line mag let me get the shield mag out here you know they're different they're not interchangeable see at all so uh i was thinking initially that i'd have several magazines uh today but i don't because i do have some shield mags like that one but they don't fit in the ez the ez guns both the 380 and, and this one they have to be made differently to work uh to, to get what smith and i'm not an expert but but what smith and wesson's trying to achieve here in getting a slide that's easier to pull back and everything uh in a mag that's easier to load they, it's redesigning is necessary it needed to be hammer fired okay so it's a hammer fired gun not a striker fired gun it's got a hammer in there all right i'll, I'll show you that so uh it's just a little bit different it's a different animal all right and the mags a different animal you know, it's a straight line mag. It's kind of like a uh, 1911 magazine or something. Okay, it holds uh, eight rounds. And it's easy to load. It doesn't take a lot of pressure until you get down to that last round, maybe. And then you've got those tabs. So it's very, very simple. Well, unless you're uncoordinated like me. Very simple to load. And uh, that's the whole purpose of this outfit. If uh, you have some difficulty manipulating stronger springs and all of that, Here's a firearm in nine millimeter, serious round, that, that you probably could handle, okay? And before I shoot it, let me uh, uh, give you my estimate, John's estimate. I estimate by pulling back the slide, however you pull it, this is the regular shield. I've done both these together several times. And in my opinion, it's about twice as easy to pull, okay? or it takes about half the strength, however you want to quantify that, okay? So probably about half the strength to get the slide back, okay? Something like that, maybe 40% less, I don't know, 55. So yeah, about, about half, this is about twice as hard to pull back, okay? I'll say it every way I can think to say it on the regular shield, all right? So, and then two, they've got this little shelf back here, so that makes it even better because you, you get a better grip on it, okay? You see that? I think the 380 had that as well. And you got serrations up here in the front that they're just basically non-usable. And you've got a rail on this one. It's a longer slide. And so you do have a rail, you know, so you don't have on the standard. Now, that might be, that might be an attraction to a lot of people. You might decide you want this one because it's got a rail. Don't know. They both have the really thin grip, a narrow grip. And that's my, uh, really about my only criticism of the shield in general. It's a great gun. I own one. That's it. Uh, I like it. I kind of prefer the 43 and then the 43X and those. 
Uh, the grip is, it's, it's almost abnormally thin, uh, thinner than it needs to be. Uh, some people probably love it though, because they don't have gigantic hands like I do, right? So let's shoot a couple more times, all right? Uh, shoot's fine. Let's put a couple on the paper target over here. Let's see how easy it might be to do that. Okay. All right. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I'm going to put a, a round right on the E down at the bottom, on the EZ, right in the middle, if I can. I did, right below him. How about smoking some pot? That's more important. <laughs> Yeehaw, we're a bowling pin. Uh, shoots fine. It, uh, I don't, it doesn't really shoot low. Uh, it, I, I tend to want to pull it low. Uh, you got to really have some strength to, to get that, to use the slide lock uh, to release that. Uh, there we go. So if you're buying this firearm because you need something that's easier to manipulate, you'd probably have a hard time doing what I just did, but it's no problem. Just pull it back and get it down. All right. Let's try a two liter, a green one or two. Oh, how about a gong? All right, uh, I think I'm gonna have to hold up high on it. All right. Let's try that red plate in the on the right, so we can hear it if I hit it. Uh, all right. I I was actually shooting at that brown leaf over there. I hit it. Did you notice that? Hit that brown leaf square in the center. <laughs> Yeah, just two mags. Uh, so, what else about it? Again, if you have weaker hands, uh, this might be just what the doctor ordered. You know, uh, because y you know you can probably manipulate this firearm. I think the regular shield is a little easier to shoot well than this one, uh, partly because of that grip safety. Uh, I have noticed, and it may be my large hands, but. If I just kind of pick it up and, and I early on, I oh, it's got a mag, uh, like right now, it's cocked. Well, it fired in, but uh, I have to almost really concentrate to get that, that squeezed hard enough in, you know, to make it uh, functional, okay? Of course, you should have a good, you know, firm grip on your, on your pistol, but I don't know, there's something about the size of my hands and the thinness of the grip. It, uh, I could, I can pretty easily not have it depressed enough to shoot, which depresses me. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't that funny. Uh, so just be aware of that. You know, a lot of people don't like grip uh, safeties anyway. Uh, this one's a little marginal for me. It might just be my large hands, but I uh, think John noticed that too. It's easy to, uh, to to not have it depressed enough. No, oh, by the way, I don't know if I got to the John uh, concurs pretty well that the the slide is is you know about twice as easy to operate on on this one versus the regular shield okay and, and that's a very important thing to talk about and point out because that's you know, the main purpose of the firearm the slide manipulation is the thing that some people have trouble with and i'm sure you want to know if you're in a market for something like this how much easier is it okay so so we we both feel like it's around you know like i said about 50 percent easier okay uh, and that's the big thing. And the mags, again, those little tabs really do help because you kind of get both fingers on them. There's nothing sharp about them, so they don't hurt your fingers, and you can load it up, you know, without, you know, any problems or drawing blood, okay? Uh, you can change out the sights, I think, if you want to. And I did adjust the rear sight. It was shooting to the left when I uh, first shot it several days back. And, uh, you know, I'll show you the... Uh, you got to uh, tell it's loaded, loaded chamber indicator. See how it sticks up there a little bit. Okay, so you got that. I don't have a dummy around to show you that, but uh, so you take the slide off, which I'll do, and you uh, loosen that screw, and it'll, it'll slide for windage. You know, it's funny. Uh, so many people they shoot a firearm or a pistol like this, and yeah, it shoots left. Look on the internet. You know, so many Glocks and and these pistols they shoot left and low. Well, if you're an experienced shooter, you know what a lot of that is, don't you? Yeah, it's jerking a trigger or just pulling the gun low left. It's a tendency we all have. Uh, I don't mean to sound arrogant, because I do it. When I, when I am not focused, I, I do it, we all do it. 
you know, if we're right-handed. Uh, but anyway, it is so common that, uh, you know, we, we tend to say, yeah, right, yeah, she's low left, not surprised. Well, sometimes they do. <laughs> they actually do, and uh, this was one of them. Uh, so I did, I did move it a little bit, and it seems fine now. Okay, now one thing I want to point out, too. I'm glad you reminded me because I was about to forget it. If you want to break it down, it's no problem. And uh, pull it down. Well, I say no problem. When you break it down, you want to keep your hands off of that grip safety because it was so bad. I was having such a hard time getting it uh, field stripped and then reassembled that I had to do something really unusual and extreme. You know what that is? I had to actually get resort to reading the instruction manual, which none of us wants to ever do, right? I got the manual out and it said to not have the uh, safety depressed when you're taking the slide off and when you're putting it back on. Because I, I just got to the point, I was telling John, okay, I'm gonna have to send this back. You know, this, this, this is not right. It shouldn't be that hard, almost impossible to get the slide off and then back on. And it crossed my mind because I tried it with sort of keeping my fingers off of it, you know, and then I actually got it back on. I said, wow, really? Is that the problem? And yeah, sure enough, that's it. Okay. So just to make you aware of that, and plus your spring, your recoil spring needs to be in there correctly. But yeah, I mean, it's well made. It's a shield. You know, everybody knows that you know, Smith Wesson does a good job on these things. And the shield's one of the most successful pistols of all time, I guess. I don't know what the numbers are on that thing. You see with this, the rounded edges are up and down on the spring. The flat edges are to the side. You got to get down in there. And then when you're putting in, this is a little bit awkward for a firearm that everything about it is supposed to be EZ. Uh, this one takes a little coordination to get that, you know, without touching. Like I said, more coordination than I have. I'm going to make sure the spring's right. Yeah, that's right. Might be moved over a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to keep my hand off of that grip safety. Oh, come on now. I've done this several times just to make sure that... Let me, let me, the hammer has to be down. That's probably not good for it. Cock it and fire that. Okay, hammer's supposed to be down. Spring in the right place. Okay. Come on. I've done this several times. I don't know why it's acting up now. Everything's down. Get my hand off of that. There we go. All right, it is new, but I, you know, I mean, it's it's gone very smoothly several times because uh, I wanted to verify uh, because I had so much trouble initially. Okay, so then you're you're back in business. Let me do that again. Okay, not to belabor the point, but you know, since I struggled, here, take it off. Okay, back up here, hand off the grip safety. I did notice pushing down or getting it lined up evenly. There we go. There we go. All right, so there you go. So, of all the operation of the firearm, that might take more <laughs> skill than anything. So, that part of it might not be really easy. Because, oh boy, I tell you, that, that, yeah, I mean, you know, we just like to, uh, we're going to re reassemble a firearm. You know, it just makes sense to, let's see, that's where we're at the fire. It just makes so much sense to grab it, you know, like we want to do and push it back on there, you know? Yeah, you know, so, but you can't do that with the uh, the EZ, all right? Yeah, that's the price you pay for having a grip safety, for having a hammer-fired gun, I guess, and having a firearm that's easy to work the slide, okay? So, we'll shoot a couple more times, and I'll uh, see if there's any other lies I forgot to tell you about, and we'll let you go. Okay. So it, it shoots okay, shoots fine. I think I shoot the standard uh, firearm better. One thing that helps too, not only is it easier to manipulate you know, the slide and everything, it is heavier. So you're gonna have a little less recoil, or you should, right? What else needs to be shot? How about a pig? I'm gonna try to hit the pig over there. Boom. How about a buffer, buffer low? All 
right. <laughs> I killed a buffalo, and it was easy to do it, right? Let's shoot it fast, see if we can do that. All right, let's just shoot the, no, let's just pull that, hit this target a few times. Okay, I'm just going to, uh, I, don't know, I, I didn't really find a holster for it, but uh, let's just shoot. What the heck, okay. There we go, all right, kind of through those. So, I mean, it's a fine defensive firearm. It, uh, you should have no problems with it, I guess. Uh, I guess I didn't have any issues with it not firing. Uh, you know, the thing I was talking about, not having the grip uh, depressed enough. So maybe I'm getting used to it. I'm trying to squeeze it nice and tightly. But, yeah, it works. It's a shield. They, they've pretty much proven they know how to make these things. Uh, negatives for me, uh, I don't really like the grip safety. I... Uh, it, you know, 10 years I might be begging somebody for one of these because I'm having trouble manipulating it. I don't know when I get weak and dumb and old or whatever, older. But uh, right now I don't have a, a purpose for it. I, I, I'll take the regular shield or a different firearm. Uh, so uh, that's it. I did get the Glock 48 out and I didn't uh, show you, I guess. To me, it's more, it's more uh, the size of the Glock 48. You get right down to it. See, in length, in the grip length, uh, I don't have a mag in the, uh, but I just happen to have a, a Glock 43X mag in my pocket, right? <laughs> I could pull out. Uh, so you're talking about the same uh, grip length, and uh, the slide on the 48 is a little bit longer. So I just, I just brought that out for the heck of it. So which is the same size as the Glock 19, except not as thick, right? So so it fits in that weird place. You know, it's not quite as thick as a Glock 19. Uh, it's thicker than a Glock 48 and, and all that. But it, so it's a bigger gun. The main point is it's a bigger gun than the regular shield in the ways I showed you. And, uh, but it's easier to manipulate. We estimate about twice as easy. And uh, that's what it's supposed to be. Easy, right? So, so the easy 9mm, uh, uh, an option. And as I say often, you know, we're living in great times because there's so many choices and so many of the firearms that are being offered and that are out there uh, are not junk, you know? They're not junk. Some of us might still lean toward one brand uh, and hard to sway and pull away from a, a firearm we like a lot, of, but, but I think most of us will admit, wow, there's, there's at least 10 or 20 different pistols like this that would serve us just just fine and we would feel confident you know uh, relying on uh, for a defensive pistol because they just work you know so it's it's great times and and this even gets into a, a a deeper smaller niche you know something for people that have weak hands uh, and difficulties manipulating these but they don't want to go to a revolver they want to they want to you know stick with something like this it really is pretty easy to pull so anyway the uh, shield, m and shield, 9, uh, easy. Uh, you can reverse the uh, mag release if you want to with any trouble. And uh, it can be fairly ambidextrous. And uh, seems like a fine little pistol. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns uh, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.